What's good, YouTube? This is RPU here, and I'm back again with another video. And guys, we need to talk about Canary X. The white paper and the website has been released. And after going over both of them for a couple of days, the big reveal is that the Canary X token is going to be used as one of various digital assets that will be used as reserves in a Olympian Dow fork that is going to be built on the Songbird network. That's the big reveal. And so this is right on time because I remember a couple videos back that the Beverly Bull was saying that we need to start looking into DAOs. And so this is right on time. And when I announced this in my community tab, you know, a lot of people had mixed reactions. Some people were excited. Some people, you know, were saying that they didn't like, you know, decentralized autonomous organizations. You know, someone said that they thought Olympus was a Ponzi scheme. But if Olympus is a Ponzi scheme, you know, why are these... DAOs popping up across multiple blockchains like I got multiple I came across multiple DAOs thanks to this YouTube channel named uh, Juvier's Gems you know he's the one that put me on Wonderland he told me about Spartacus then Olympus DAO and then Rome DAO and then there's Hector and now we got Canary X man and if you participated in in the Canary X airdrop, you are going to be one of the first investors in this new decentralized autonomous organization, which gives you first movers advantage, you know, on staking your tokens and earning passive income, you know, competitive APYs, you know, I don't even think traditional banks can compete with these things, you know, um, minting tokens getting tokens at a discount by like minting bonds staking staking your tokens for crazy APYs the token should be you know over time the token will probably become pretty stable because it'll be backed by various assets and if everything works out like I believe it's going to work out I may actually get my one dollar canary x token price man i think i might get my one dollar canary x token price man that's what i'm i'm really hoping for man because if i if everything goes out goes right with the airdrop you know i get every referral that i got and there's no funny business and the price is a dollar then i'll be able to sell some of these tokens and you know pay off my debt to become debt free debt free that's like could change my life you know I could put myself in a better position and still have some tokens left over to participate in this amazing opportunity you know and so yeah that's the plan and so if you have any experience with Olympus Dow then you know you already know how how it works and so you can answer some of my questions um, as I present this information to you as I understand it because I'm trying to understand this just as much as you are you know trying to know what I'm invested in but yeah let's jump into this information and uh, I'll break it down for you and uh, how how I see everything you know I really think it's a it's a good opportunity the token is designed for you to hold it basically and if you hold it you earn passive income you know and that's not even that's not even like the Dow you know that's not even the Dow part you know the Dow just makes it even better so this is the Canary X token Twitter follow Canary X at Canary X token they have over 55,000 followers Canary X Tweeted on the 15th of December. Website check. 
White paper check, hashtag Canary X. Don't stop me now, man. So I remember there was a tweet where they said that, you know, the airdrop, there would not be an airdrop until the release of the white paper and the website, right? And they said they wanted to do it around the 15th of December. So Canary X came through as promised and released the website and the white paper. And so the train has left the station, you guys. The airdrop is on the way. And so Dean Brown says, hey, just to ask, I have not received my airdrop. Has it ended or is it still going? Canary X says, we're working on the audit now. When it's done, we'll start the airdrop. So they're auditing the referrals, you know. Hopefully there was no funny business with my referrals, you know. I just made a video and a lot of people signed up. I'm hoping to get every songbird, you know, that I rightfully earned and hopefully at the price of a dollar so I can become debt free like I want to, <laughs> you know. Canary X says, not long now, audit in process. This was earlier today. And so they're just waiting Waiting on the audit to get done, and then we can begin the airdrop, man. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see that Canary X in my Bifrost wallet, man. I really hope. I really hope that it turns out the way that I'm hoping, man. Man. Chicken XRP says, if it gets dropped into our Bifrost, how do we exchange or cash it out? <laughs> That's all they want to know, man. How do we cash it out, man? How do we cash it out? How do we how do we unload this thing? <laughs> you know, I'll be trying to figure the same thing out eventually. But if you read the white paper, you would realize that after the airdrop, the next step in the roadmap is to get an exchange listing. And I'm going to show you that as we go through the white paper. But I wonder who's going to be the first exchange to list Canary X. Will it be Bitru? I know Bitru. Supports a, a lot of things XRP related, you know, they just listed Songbird So maybe I'm thinking Bitru would be one of the first ones to list Canary X You know since they're listing Songbird it would be Obvious that what they would list Songbird assets, you know, but You can't cash it out until you get an exchange listing or a decentralized exchange listing So in the meantime You just hold, hold it and earn passive income, you know, or participate in the decentralized, the DAO, basically, you know, decentralized autonomous organization. That's a lot to say, <laughs> you know, so just say DAO, you know, I'm going to just say DAO. Mr. Logason says, cool, looking forward to see if the earned amount is respected in the airdrop. Worked my butt off to secure a lot of referrals. I was quite surprised to see you change the supply. Dot, dot, dot. A Trooper says, what happened? Mr. Logerson says, initially, the earned amount was said to be seen in relation to supply of 100 million Canary X. The popularity then made them make a new Canary X with a supply of 1 billion tokens. Just hope they will respect the effort we made for them and not delete the earned amount. So, yeah, I saw that, too. I saw that in the white paper. There was an original tweet that said that the total supply was 100 million. So now when I went to the website, I saw the supply was 1 billion. So the supply is bigger than we thought. But as I show you how the decentralized, the DAO works, sorry, <laughs> Once I show you how the DAO works, I think that the price may still be a dollar. If you understand Olympus, then you know that there is there is a price floor that the price of Olympus DAO, I mean the OM token, cannot cannot fall below. So it, even if the OM token price was to crash, it, it can't fall below a dollar. You know? So that's why I'm thinking that I'm going to get 
my one dollar Canary X because it's an Olympus Dow fork. So basically, it's it's an Olympus Dow clone, you know. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get my one dollar Canary X. Hopefully, <laughs> you know. I I don't know everything. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. Muhammad says. What about this airdrop? The distribution is said to be the 15th of December. This dude got 93 referrals. 93 referrals. Can we do the math on that real quick? So you get 5,000 Canary X for every referral, right? So let's do it. 93 times 5,000. That's 465,000 Canary X tokens. On top of his 2,000. So, he got 467,000 Canary X tokens in his airdrop. You know, if there's no funny business. But, if these tokens are really worth a dollar a piece. <laughs> that is life-changing money right there. That is get out of debt free money right there. You know? And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm really hoping that everything goes according to plan. And so, after reading all that, we can finally jump into the website, man, the good stuff. Canary X. Canary X is building a community-owned, decentralized infrastructure on the DeFi terra firma. And so, we're going to start with the white paper. This is the white paper. It's eight pages long. It's um, real simple. It's not a lot of reading. It's mainly more in like pitch, picture form than it is a lot of reading. So I see that, you know, they tried to make it as simple as possible. So um, let's jump into this uh, white paper real quick. Uh, let's start with the introduction. The token Canary X is a completely decentralized frictionless yield delivering artificially intelligent token on the songbird network it sounds good the canary x token employs a fair system to tax each token transaction using a constant percentage it redistributes canary x rewards to holders to increase its value to its users to mitigate price inflation risk it uses an automated regulatory mechanism that gradually reduces total supply proportionately to transaction volume and frequency. So you will know that the token is deflationary. There's a mechanism that in here, you know, I'm going to show you where tokens are being burned. The token's base is a reflector algorithm which uses programmed intelligence to ensure a fair and consistent passive accumulation based on volume where tokens are sent directly to wallet holders. So, you know, if you're just holding your tokens, if other people are, you know, using their tokens, you're going to earn passive income for just holding, you know? And I'm 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 wondering like is it going to be a lot of money? You know, I can't, I want to see how the mechanisms work, you know? I mean, we can't really move our tokens until, you know, either an exchange listing or, you know, the launch of the DAO. So until then, they'll just be sitting in my Bifrost wallet. Um, one of the many innovations possible, thanks to the use of smart contracts, is the concept reflector tokens. Canary X is designed to provide token rewards through the payment fees earned from transactions such as selling tokens, buying tokens, and transferring tokens. So, I mean, that's this token is really designed for you to hold it. And it's like if, you, if you're going to do a transaction with it, you're going to incur a fee. You know, it's like... You know, it's like incentivizing you to hold it because if you, you know, you want to sell, you're, you're, you're getting a huge, you're getting a penalty, you know, well, but, you know, even if you sell, it still helps out the ecosystem because those fees, 
that fee that is getting take, taken out of that transaction is getting redistributed to everyone else, along with a portion of it being burned, which I'm going to show you right here. So, Canary X collects a 10% transaction charge for every transaction. 10% charge for every transaction. So, think about that, man. I want you to think about this. If I spend a thousand dollars, I'm gonna incur a ten percent fee, which means I'm they're gonna charge me a hundred dollars. So the total transaction would cost eleven hundred dollars. So I'm gonna have to take that into account, possibly for like two transactions. You know, I I'm if they're going to be taxing me you know when I buy it when I sell it and when I transfer it I may incur two separate fees when dealing with this token like okay so one I gotta transfer it to my I gotta transfer it from my wallet to the exchange that's a 10% fee and then if I sell this token that's a 10% fee so you know, if I was like, if this token is really a dollar and, you know, I'm trying to cash out 100 racks. I send 100 racks to the exchange, 10% fee, that's $10,000 right there. And so I would have to send like 110000 to the exchange to get the 100000 And then, even then, if maybe if I sell on the exchange... I'm, it's possible that I may incur another 10% fee. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm going to have to take that into account, you know, when I'm thinking about moving these coins because that's a huge, huge fee to have to pay. But at the same time, you know, all that money is getting redistributed to the community. You know, which gives everyone else a nice passive income, you know, and so hopefully it hopefully it balances itself out. So there's a 10 percent transaction fee for every transaction. Let's get that understood. And then that 10 percent transaction fee out of that 10 percent, 70 percent of that is redistributed to. The wallets of everyone who holds Canary X. And then 30% of that transaction fee is burned. So it's basically black holed. So you can rest assured that they're not just printing up Canary X, you know, like crazy. This tax redistribution system uses smart contracts written in Solidity that run on the blockchain. This allows for transparent, independent, passive reward streams for all token holders. Uh, so as long as you hold, you're going to make money, basically. The token is incentivizing you to hold it. Scarcity and anti-well features. Contract functions for depreciating supply in a decentralized smart chain environment can be used to create token scarcity. That's good, you know. We don't have to worry about inflation, you know. If we have scarcity, it makes the token even more valuable. We propose that rewards be distributed to the burn address to achieve token scarcity. This is transparent for everyone to see. For added transparency, we can track the decline in supply in real time. So I guess you'll be able to see how many tokens have been black holed on the blockchain? We will probably be able to see that making it transparent, you know. So, you know, like I said, they're not printing up a bunch of Canary X, you know. The realized burn rate is dependent on three factors. Market volume, burn rate, and token quantity. Two variables will impact our calculations are the decreasing supply of tokens and the amount of tokens absorbed into a burn address. These features can have synergistic effects, which can stabilize the burn rate in the future. So it it's going to balance itself out, basically. 
over time. Anti-will. We also proposed an anti-will feature that prevents transfers that are in excess of 2% of the total supply. This is an effort to reduce the risk that a significant portion of the supply is sold in a single transaction. So remember in my last Canary X video, I showed you that 2% of 100 million was 2 million Canary X. So I should have been good, right? So, but now we, we've learned that the total supply has been increased to 1 billion. So now 2% of that total supply is I think what 200 million I think so that gives me even more leverage you know I don't think that you know I'll ever get that many tokens but if I ever do then hey you know I have that option to move that many tokens but can you imagine the fee can you imagine the 10 percent fee on moving 200 million canary x tokens that would just hurt my pockets just just thinking about it that that just hurts just thinking about it you know but that's why it incentivizes you to hold it you know so we have a trifecta here of features that are going to benefit the canary x token we got passive income rewards you earn passive income for holding it we have a burning mechanism so every time a transaction is done 30 percent of that 10 percent is lost forever you know black hole and then we have the anti-whale feature which is going to which stops people from like doing rug pulls and then you know, it makes the price of Canary X stable. You know, you don't have to worry about a rug pool like the squid token. So why Canary X? Canary X is community driven. 80% of the initial total supply is available to early supporters who claim their airdrop. Tokens which are not claimed out of the 80% allocated to the airdrop will be burnt. So... There's 1 billion tokens, 80% of that is being airdropped. That, what is that, 800 million tokens, right? And so there were a lot of people in my comments who said, oh, I didn't want to participate, so they didn't participate. So I guess the rest of those tokens are going to be burnt, you know? So it just, it creates more scarcity, which is good. It makes Canary X more valuable. So... Canary X is good because there is no hardware required. No Ledger Nano needed. You know, you can use your Bifrost or, or MetaMask wallet. There's passive income rewards. That's good. You know, you just got to sit, you just sit back and let, let your Canary X come in. You know, that's good. It's deflationary, which is good, you know. So we know that the price should be uh, pretty stable. You know, it's transparent. We can see all of the... Canary X that has been black holed on the blockchain, more cost effective and highly secured with the help of smart contracts. That's good. It sounds good. But I want to say, you know, remember that all of this is being done on the Songbird blockchain. And the Songbird blockchain is a parachain to flare, which is highly experimental and, um, you know, you need to understand the risks. And Flair told you that they are not associated with, you know, Canary X or any any projects running on Canary X. Just so we're clear, you know, so just so you understand the risks. But like I said, they, with no risk, there's no reward. So let's go over the tokenomics. The total supply is 1 billion tokens. So we have... Once again, 1 billion tokens. We, we thought it was 100 million, but now the, the, the total supply is 1 billion tokens. 80% is going to be airdropped. Now, 10% is going to be allocated to the development fund of Canary X. So what is that? 100 million? 
Not a lot. And then 10% is going to be allocated to the team members. Now, don't be, get scared because the team members' tokens are being locked up and they can only get a certain amount of tokens allocated to them every month. I remember seeing that in one of their tweets. And then we have the initial burn of all the rest of the Canary X tokens of everyone who didn't participate. Don't you wish you participated? So here's the roadmap. The community goal was to get 5,000 Twitter followers. We did that. The second community goal was to get 2,500 Discord members. We did that. Then the audit of the Canary X token contract is on is being done right now. And then the airdrop of Canary X tokens is on the way, man. It's on the way. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And then we have the next step is to get Canary X listed on an exchange. Who's going to be the first exchange? Will it be BitTrue? Will it be Uphold? Will it be Nexo? I don't know, man. But as soon as I find out, I'll be able to let y'all know. And so that's the end of the white paper. Real short, man. Real short, real easy to understand. But in my personal opinion, the gold, the gold mine of information was found on the website. So let's go over the website. This is just a quick summary of everything that was in the white paper. It says total supply, 1 billion tokens, 80% assigned to the airdrop, 10% assigned to the development of Canary X, and 10% assigned to the develop to the core team, which we know that those tokens are locked up, you know, and are distributed, you know, on a certain in a certain way where they can't be rug pulled. So the rest of those tokens are going to be burnt if they're not claimed. So it's basically too late. The snapshot is over, so the rest of those tokens are going to be burned. What are the features of the Canary X token? So there's a 10% fee on every transfer of Canary X tokens. So I'm hoping that when I'm hoping that it's just on transfers, but the white paper said that it could be possibly on buying, selling, and transfers. So I'm going to have to watch out for that, you know, just so, you know, I'm not, you know, caught off guard with the outrageous 10% fee, you know, you know, I'm trying to send a certain amount and then 10% gets taken out and then I don't have the amount that I need, you know, so be on the lookout for that, you know. So, here we go. 7% of the fees are distributed proportionately to all Canary X holders based on the amount of tokens they hold. So, the more that you hold, the more passive income you're going to make. It's deflationary. 3% of the fees will be burnt. Black hold. And then we have the anti-whale feature where no more than 2% of the total supply can be moved in a single transfer. So, that's good. We went over that multiple times, so hopefully you guys understand all of that. 10% fee, deflationary, passive income, anti-well feature. Real simple. And then the big announcement. What is the purpose of Canary X tokens? Canary X tokens were created with three specific roles. Due to the fact the Canary X tokens were airdropped, it served as a method to help grow a community around the Canary X platform. And that's the big reveal, the Canary X DAO platform. As a way of saying thank you to these supporters, those who participated in the airdrop will be whitelisted, whitelisted for special benefits on the launch of the Canary X DAO. So don't you feel good that you participated? You know, you're getting early access and you're getting whitelisted for special benefits just for participating in a free airdrop? Winning, bro. Winning. It's crazy. Whitelisted 
for special benefits on the launch of the Canary X DAO. So, number two, in addition to Canary Dollar, Canary X can also be added as a reserve asset in the Canary X DAO based on the value and liquidity that follows after its launch. So, you know, Canary X is going to be used, you know, it's going to have utility to be used, you know, as one of the reserve assets to back itself, which is crazy. You know, since the since the price of Canary X is going to have a price floor, which is going to be potentially a dollar, then the Treasury can use Canary X to back Canary X <laughs> or it's like backing Canary X in the Treasury with Canary X. It's crazy when you think about it. You know, it's 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 auto compounding, you know, so. um yeah, Canary X is going to be used as a reserve asset in addition with Canary Dollar, which is good, you know. It's it's operating with other song assets on the Songbird network. And then number three, Canary X offers one of the simplest rewards-based systems for token holders, where no setups other than to hold the assets in a self-custody wallet such as Descent, MetaMask are required. The rewards are reflected directly to the holder's wallet. So all you got to do if you really just want to earn some passive income is just hold it in your self-custody wallet and just sit back and let the money come in. It's that easy. You don't have to do anything else, you know. And hopefully, you know, if more people start using the network, you'll have a lot of fees coming in, really, you know. We'll, we'll see. Who knows? And so here's some information about the Dow. And this is where I get excited, man. Because this is where I, I believe I'm going to get my $1 Canary X, man. Let's go over it, man. I'm excited. What is the purpose of Canary X Dow? Our purpose is to build a decentralized reserve currency protocol. On the Songbird network, each token is backed by a basket of assets Canary Dollar, Canary X, liquidity pool tokens, etc., in the Canary X DAO treasury, giving it an intrinsic out value that it cannot fall below. So it sounds exactly like Olympus DAO. I'm starting to get excited. <laughs> I'm starting to get excited. So, you know. Okay, let's 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 keep reading. Let's keep reading before I get ahead of myself. It tries to achieve this by backing every Canary X DAO token with one Canary dollar, which equals one dollar. That's where I'm getting my one dollar from, but not pegging it. This means that the value of Canary X DAO token, although backed by at least at least one dollar is free to increase above this one dollar canary one canary dollar floor price the price token rises to above the floor floor price is determined by the market so canary x cannot fall below in intrinsic value and it, it so it cannot fall below a dollar so I'm really starting to think that this token is going to be a dollar. And so it can start out. It can't fall below a dollar, but that's not stopping the token from increasing. And so it's basically this token is basically worth a dollar plus. You know, the upside is just there's lots of room to grow, basically. And so you have to understand the difference between backed by a dollar and pegged to a dollar because like I said um, when something is backed by a dollar it's not stopping the token from increasing in value but when it's pegged to a dollar that means that it the price never changes from a dollar that's the difference and so when I when I first saw this I was like okay 
So if the total supply was 100 million, right? And then the total supply got increased to a billion. That means that every Canary X token has to be backed with one with at least one Canary dollar, right? So that means that the Canary Dow Treasury has to have at least a billion dollars in the treasury to back every a billion dollars in the treasury worth of canary dollars to back every canary X with at least one dollar. You see what I'm saying? And as more people, you know, participate in the Dow, you know, adding liquidity to the treasury, the value of Canary X is going to increase over time. And so I'm excited, man. I don't know, you know, you guys said, some of you guys said that you thought this was a Ponzi scheme, but I'm excited because I'm, I may actually get my $1 Canary X price, you know, like I said. And even if I have, if I, if, if there's no fuck shit with the airdrop and I get every token that, you know, I worked for, you know, despite the 10% fee that's going to hurt <laughs> when I sell these tokens, I'll be able to cash out and pay off all my debts and be debt free and watch my credit score shoot up to high 700s, you know, and then my life will be good. You know, I'll be in a better position from where I am now and I'll be able to go even harder, you know. That's, that's, you know, I got some serious debts to pay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm pretty sure you, some of you guys watching this video got some serious debts to pay. Hey, Squid Game, anybody? Shit. You know? So, let's keep, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. How do, how do I participate in the Canary X Dow? There are two main strategies for market participants, staking and minting. Stakers can stake their Canary X DAO tokens in return for more Canary X DAO tokens, while those who mint provide liquidity pool or Canary Dollar tokens in exchange for discounted Canary X DAO tokens after a fixed period of time before they are released to and owned by the minter. This is referred to as the vesting period. So. What you're doing is basically you're buying bonds from the treasury. You're buying Canary X from the treasury at a discounted price. So let's say the price of Canary X is $10, but the treasury is selling it to you for $6, right? So you're getting a, what is that? Like what? 40% discount on Canary X, right? And so, but the only, the catch is you have to wait five days to receive the tokens that you bought at a discount. But as long as the price of Canary X stays the same over those five days, when you receive them, you're already in profit because you bought the tokens at a discount. You see, so you bought the, t the tokens at six dollars, but the current value of them is ten dollars. So you're already four dollars in profit forty percent in profit you see what I'm saying and you're in profit and the treasury has liquidity so everybody's benefited and as long as you hold you know you can stake and earn crazy APY I'm not sure what the APY is going to be we will we'll learn that as we get closer to the launch of the Dow and you'll also be earning passive income just for holding it in your self-custody wallet which is good like I said it incentivizes people to hold this token you know I'm excited I'm excited for that one dollar I'm excited for that one dollar man life changing how can I benefit from Canary X Dow? the main benefit for stakers comes from supply growth the protocol mints new Canary X Dow tokens from the treasury the majority of which are distributed to the stakers. Thus, the gain for stakers will come 
from their auto compounding balances, though price exposure remains an important consideration. That is, if the increase in token balances outpaces the potential drop in price due to inflation, stakers would make a profit. So, you know, the price will increase, but as more people sell, you know, start selling and moving tokens around, there's going to be more, you know, fees that are going to be redistributed, more tokens that are going to be burned. You know, and as more people get more tokens from passive income, it's going to make them want to move their tokens, which is make going to make them incur a fee, you know, which is going to cause more tokens to be burned. You see what I'm saying? So I think that the burn mechanism will stop the inflation. And as long as, you know, people are holding and, and you know, staking their tokens, then p the price is going to increase because the circulating supply is, uh, you know, not increasing. You see what I'm saying? And so, let's keep going. The main benefit for mentors comes from price consistency. Mentors commit a capital upfront and are promised a fixed return at a set point in time. That return is in Canary X DAO tokens, and thus the mentor's profit would depend on price of Canary X DAO tokens when the tokens are released to the mentor after the vesting period. Mentors benefit from a rising or static Canary X DAO price. So like I said, you're buying the tokens at a discount, and if you if the price stays the same or the price goes up, you're in profit, you know? So, I mean, you're getting the tokens for the low, you know? And so the price is increasing. So you're, it's like you're, you're winning. You're automatically in the money, basically, buying at a discount. Who created Canary X Dow? Canary X Dow is a fork of Olympus on the Songbird Network. Our team is mostly anonymous, mostly born from the XRP and Flare community. We aim at becoming a decentralized autonomous organization. And when I saw that, I was like, I don't know if that's good or not, because, you know, most people that make projects, you know, they show their team and who these people are behind the team. You know, it it's transparency. But... At the same time, when I thought about it, do you really need to know who the team is as if the code really works? You see what I'm saying? It's, if it's like fully decentralized, does it really matter who wrote the code? That's kind of like what I got from it, you know? But like I said, this, the Songbird blockchain is experimental. So like I said, do your own research and understand the risks, you know? So, that's the only negative, you know, out of everything that I've seen. The team is anonymous, but hey, like I said, if the code works, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm making money, right? When will the Canary X DAO functions become active? We will update our social channels when our Canary X DAO is about to launch, so, no timeline right now for the launch of the Canary X DAO, but the audit is being done and our Canary X tokens are on the way. And I, like I said, I'm really hoping that I get the 300,000 Canary X tokens and everything is like they said it is. Like, look, like they said, the, the Canary X DAO tokens are supposed to be backed with Canary dollars, right? So look, every Canary X token is backed with one canary dollar, but not Peggy. So I should get 300,000 worth of canary X tokens. That's that's what I'm hoping for, man. I'm hoping for one big score, one big lump sum, so I can change my life real quick, you know, and then I can really start, really start going hard, you know? So... Here we, the last two sections are staking and minting. 
Staking Canary X DAO tokens. What is staking? Staking is the primary value accrual strategy of Canary X DAO. Stakers stake their Canary X DAO tokens on the website to earn rebase rewards. The rebase rewards proceed from bond sales and can vary based on the number of Canary X DAO tokens staked in the protocol and the reward rate set by monetary policy. Staking is a passive long term strategy. The increase in your stake of Canary X DAO translates into a constantly falling cost basis converging on zero. This means even if the market price of the token drops below your initial purchase price, given a long enough staking period, the increase in your stake token balance should eventually outpace the falling price. So I I've saw how like in these DAOs when the price drops the APY skyrockets. When the price increases, the APY drops. But either way, you're going to be making money. It, it balances it itself out and it incentivizes people, you know, to come into the program, you know? So like as people sell, the APY is going to increase. And people are going to see that APY and be like, oh, that's crazy. And they're going to want to jump in, you know? So it's it's a way to incentivize, like, continuous liquidity, which is good, you know? So hopefully this program will last a long time. Like they said, it's a long-term strategy. So that's good. When you stake... You lock Canary X DAO tokens and receive an equal amount of S carry S Canary S S Canary X. So what is that? Is that another token? Your S Canary X balance rebases up automatically at the end of every epoch. S Canary X is transferable and therefore composable with other DeFi protocols. When you unstake, you burn Canary S and receive an equal amount of Canary X. So S Canary X I'm seeing now is basically stake Canary X. <laughs> so when you, it's basically turning it into another token basically. And it's the same, it's the same, it's a different token but it represents the, to the underlying token with the same value basically. And uh, I guess they're saying that, you know, you could use that token, the stake Canary X, to use it in other DeFi protocols. So, hey, maybe we'll get some more applications, you know. They'll build a whole equals ecosystem around this Canary X token. So, yeah, when you unstake, you burn S Canary, stake Canary X and receive an equal amount of Canary X. Unstaking means that the user will forfeit the upcoming rebase period. Note that the forfeited rewards is only applicable to the unstaked amount. The remaining stake Canary X DAO tokens, if any, will continue to receive rebase rewards. So, if as long as you like, you know, you, you take out a little or you just take out what you need, you know, you're, you're constantly earning passive income, you just take out what you need. You know, and let that the rest of that stuff continue to compound. And like, even if so, if the price you're making money regardless, because if the price goes up, you're making money. If the price goes down, the APY increases, which allows you to compound faster while the price is down. And then the price goes back up and then your money just like doubled, you know, like it's crazy when you think about it, you know, so. There's a strategy, you know, you, you can buy when the price is down. You know, that would be a good strategy. That's not financial advice, but hey, so we got staking right there. So you can stake your Canary X and earn passive income that way. And then we have the minting. So you're going to be selling. I already explained this basically. You're going to be selling your tokens to get Canary X at a discounted price. And then, 
So it says the terms, you'll get your tokens at a future date. So let's assume it's five days. And so, but once you get those tokens, you're automatically in profit as long as the price stays the same or goes up. So it's like you're automatically buying something that's automatically in profit. So, I mean, you can't lose. As long as the price stays the same or goes up, you can't lose. And so that's the big reveal of the Canary X Dow, man. And so I wanted to ask some people because, you know, some people were saying that Olympus Dow was a Ponzi scheme. Let me ask you, if you have any experience with Olympus Dow, when Olympus Dow started, did the price start at a dollar? That's what I want to know. Because when I was looking at price charts, I could not find a history that went back, you know, all the way to the beginning to see if the price of Olympus Dow started at a dollar. But from what I see, the price, look at the price of Olympus, it's $394, you know? That means that the treasury must have so much liquidity that it's able to back every own token with $394 worth of assets. That's what that means, you know? So a lot of people have been participating in Olympus Dow, filling up the treasury. And so, you know, someone said it's a Ponzi scheme. Well, a lot of people are participating and you have to understand game theory, which is the whole three, three, the three comma three thing right here. But basically three comma three is game theory. And if let's say we're all getting this airdrop. And so if we all stake our tokens and hold our tokens and not sell, then we all benefit. The price goes up. And, you know, if if we sell, it hurts everyone else in the community. But not only does it hurt everyone else in the community, we also get hurt because we incur a 10% fee. You see what I'm saying? And so it incentivizes people to Definitely hold their tokens because you're going to be thinking about that 10% fee when you get ready to sell or, or transfer to the exchange. You're going to be thinking about that, you know, because, you know, if you're not thinking about that, let's say you send a thousand dollars to the to the exchange and you only get 900, <laughs> you only get 900, you know, and you're like, what the hell? What happened? You're going to be thinking about that 10% fee, man. But look at the price of Olympus, man. $394, man. Imagine if you were one of the first early adopters of Olympus when it was at the price floor. Think about that. Think about that. At a dollar, you were able to buy Olympus on discount for like 50 cents, buying bonds, loading up on Olympus. And you were holding and staking your tokens this whole time. All the way to $394. You would be winning right now. You would be winning right now. But the whole thing about game theory is that you never know what the other stakers are going to do. And so what do you do? You know, do you because, you know, you have to think about everyone else. You, The goal is to keep the game going, basically. And so. If you dump on everyone else, you're going to hurt everyone else. You know, a lot of people will probably be like, man, fuck everybody else. I'm trying to get my money. But then, you know, the price crashes, right? But if the price crashes, then the APY goes up, which incentivizes more people to get in. You see what I'm saying? And so now you have like constant liquidity. And think about all this. When I'm talking about Olympus, think about all this with Canary X. It's the same thing, you know? So imagine being one of the early investors of Olympus Dow, Canary X, and getting in when the price was a dollar and you held to $394 and you had a couple thousand of them things. You know, let's say, you know, everyone that signed up got 2,000, right? Let's do the math real quick. 2,000 times $394. You would have 700 and eighty-eight thousand dollars right now. If you would have held Olympus since the price floor, 
That's crazy. With your with your two thousand, let okay. I keep saying Olympus, but Canary X. Let's say the price of Canary X was three hundred ninety four dollars right now. If you held your two thousand dollar tokens to that price, you would have had seven hundred eighty eight thousand dollars right now. You see what I'm saying? And so the opportunity to get in. As an early investor is right now. You got the airdrop, man. Congratulations to you, man. We are the early adopters. And if you hold, as long as you hold, as long as you hold, bro, you're going to benefit. I'm definitely going to be holding this token long term. But like I said, if I really get 300,000 tokens... With a price floor of a dollar because every do every Canary X token is supposed to be backed by one Canary dollar. I'm going to sell half and I'm going to keep half. Because I got this to pay. <laughs> That's what it's coming down to. But let's, let's look at Olympus Dow, man. Let's look at Olympus Dow. I had to learn about Olympus Dow to understand Canary X. So Olympus Dow is the decentralized reserve currency man this is crazy when you think about it it's really like the end of the dollar when you think about it you know it's kind of like the sdr the sdr is a is backed by reserves the people in the community the crypto community basically created their own sdr <laughs> said screw it we're going to create our own dollar and we're going to have it backed by various assets a basket of currencies it's crazy when you think about it it's true decentralization and if Ohm starts getting accepted places, why would you hold the dollar at that point? Why would you hold the dollar at that point? You see what I'm saying? The future is here. The future is decentralized reserve currencies. Olympus is building a community-owned decentralized financial infrastructure to bring more stability and transparency to the world. That's awesome, man. Everything will be seen on the blockchain. So treasury balance currently right now is 563 million. The total value locked is 2 billion, 2.1 billion dollars, and the current APY is 4,459%. Now this is crazy right here. My bank, my savings account, and my credit union only offers like 0.1%. Olympus Dow was offering 4,459% on your money per year. Now, let's do the math on this, man. I I put $500 in Wonderland. But let's say I put that $500 in Olympus, right? So, let's put... at uh, We got to turn 44... We got to put 4,459% into a decimal we got to turn it into a decimal right so let's just move the decimal place over two places so we got 44.59 right 44.59 that's the apy percentage as a decimal so we're going to multiply this by 500 dollars if we had put 500 dollars in the lipis down if you would have put 500 dollars in the lipis down at this current apy at the end of the year you would have $22,000, $22,295. That is amazing. That is crazy. That is crazy. Imagine a future where you don't, you no longer have to work. <laughs> you know, you can just like compound your money or have like a bunch of passive income streams with multiple DAOs. You know, and you just take out what you need. You know, you take out what you need. You leave the rest in stake to ensure, you know, the game keeps going. The the price of Olympus stays stable or whatever. Or you can dump it, do whatever you want with it. It's your money, right? But just look at the opportunity here. 4,000% on your money in one year. This is better than bankroll flow. Bankroll Flow was offering me three, supposedly 365% a year, but I, I wasn't even getting that, bro. And so, because like 
the coin was like inflationary. You know, it had some inflationary dynamics to it. But this right here has a mechanism which balances it out, which is being backed by reserve assets and the variations in APY, which makes it competitive. And so seeing all of this, just think of all of this, but in terms of Canary X and see the opportunity that is before you as an early investor. You guys are tripping, man. Introducing Olympus Dow. We're bringing protocol owned liquidity to a Dow near you. Learn about Olympus Pro, our bonds as a service protocol. Only zaps. Zap any asset into staked variations of own with only zaps to reduce complexity that saves you time while making gas fees more transparent and efficient. How Olympus works. Treasury revenue. Bonds and liquidity pool fees. Bond sales and liquidity full fees increase treasury revenue and lock in liquidity and help control ohm supply. So, you know it's not deflationary. That's good. Treasury growth. Olympus treasury. Treasury inflow is used to increase treasury balance and back outstanding ohm tokens and regulate staking APY. So, the money that is going into the treasury is ensuring the stability of the own token which is good you know at least this to this token is backed by various assets the US dollar is backed by the faith and trust of the US government which one would you trust <laughs> at this point man really staking rewards on the own token compounds yields automatically through a treasury backed currency with intrinsic value that's good. You know, you don't have to do anything. You just stake it and just let the money just compound. It just, it's good. Sustainable staking APY. Treasury regulated APY. Look, currently 4,459%. If you put $500 in here and this APY stays current, you know, then... You'll have $22,000 in a year. That's crazy. And I'm definitely going to start getting involved with these DAOs, man. That is that is a lot of money compounded in such a short amount of time. Like $22,000, that's like the average fast food worker's salary, you know, before the 15%, you know, wage increase. But... You made $19,000 in interest within a year? Can you imagine that? Like, having a whole extra salary of money, you know, to use at your disposal on top of your job money? That's crazy. And, and like, you know, if you have multiple DAOs like that, where you're having, you know, money just compounding across multiple DAOs, you, it's a possibility, you know, you don't have to work. On top of your cryptocurrency investments. That's crazy. And so, I see opportunity here. I don't know about you, you know. I, I'm. We may have, you know, I mean, the prices of Olympus Dow is pretty high, but I'm still going to get in because the price can go even higher. You know, if as long as, pe as people are constantly feeding the treasury then the sky's the limit, basically. Wow, 4,000% APY. That's insane. Olympus rewards stakers with compounding in interest, increasing their arm holdings over time. Just watch when we start. If we get, man, watch if people start accepting ohm, it's a wrap. I think it's a wrap for the U.S. dollar already. Investment protection. The fewer ohm stake, the higher APY. That's the good part right there. So, ohm is minted and evenly distributed for staking rewards. More ohm staked reduces the APY, but pushes the ohm price higher, creating a balance that protects your investment. See, so it balances each other out. 
As the price falls, the APY increases. As the price increases, the APY falls, but you're still making money on, on as the price increases. Still compounding. So it, it sounds like a win-win to me. It really does. A true store of value doesn't exist yet. A store of value is an asset that is stable or increases in value over time. Stable coins are vulnerable to inflationary policies while Bitcoin or Ethereum suffer from market crashes or manipulation. None of these is a true store of value. So, a store of value is an asset that is stable or increases in value over time. Could that be Olympus Dow? Possibly. I mean, stable at a dollar. The dollar is the price floor, but can increase over time. Look how much it's increased over time. That's amazing. And uh, there were, this is uh, the like the Wikipedia for Olympus. There was something I wanted to show you in here. Um, oh, it's right here. Each ARM token is backed by a basket of assets. DAI is a stable coin. In the Olympus treasury, DAI, FRAX, etc. Giving it an intrinsic value that it cannot fall below. That it cannot fall below. So... That intrinsic value is supposed to be one dollar. One die is supposed to represent one dollar. It's a stable coin. So if every ohm started out backed by one die, the price floor was a dollar. Now when I say die, think of canary dollar. And when I say ohm, think of canary X. Now, if you have experience with Olympus Dow, does that sound like I'm gonna get my one dollar canary X price? Let me know in the comments. And so, that's the end of the video, pretty much, man. The big reveal, Canary X is going to be used as a reserve asset in an Olympus Dow fork on the Songbird Network. That's amazing. That's amazing. And I'm pretty sure that later on down the line, the Treasury will probably start accepting songbird and rap songbird into the treasury to add more liquidity to it to increase the the canary x price even more and you know as the the treasury continues to back itself with more canary x the treasury is earning more passive income through the fees of everyone else using the token which is going to increase the value of the treasury even faster so, if you stake your tokens and just hold, you have a lot of potential to make a lot of money in this DAO. And so, there's, the, there's more DAOs, you know, that I've been exposed to, like Spartacus and um, Wonderland. Let me show you. Wonderland. This is Wonderland. These DAOs are on different blockchains, so you have to do your own research, you know? But I got into Wonderland thanks to a YouTuber named Juvier's Gems. And this this um, DAO was at one point was offering eighty thousand percent APY. When I, when I got in. And so I was like, that's crazy. You know, I had 500 bucks in bankroll flow, which wasn't doing anything. And I wanted to make some quick money to, um, you know, see if I could flip that money real quick, make some quick money so I, I could have some extra money. And so I put my money in Wonderland. And uh, I put my money in Wonderland on December 8th. And I'm hoping that within a year, if I get 70,000% APY, 80,000% APY, I'll have probably 100 bands off that $500 because with, with Olympus Dow, with that 4,000%, you're getting 22,000 on that APY 
$22,000 on that $4,000 APY. Imagine what you're going to get on 80,000% APY if you hold it, you know, if the APY was stable. But we know that the prices go up and down, so the APY is going up and down. But let's say you're getting a minimum of 20,000% APY. That's still hella good. That's still hella good. In, in one year, that's like the flip of the century right there, you know? Putting in 500 and, and then pulling out 22 racks. So yeah, that's the video for today. I'm really excited about this project. I'm really excited about this airdrop. Will I get... Does it sound like I'm going to get my $1 price floor? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about DAOs. Will you be participating in this? Are you planning on holding it? It's definitely a long-term hold. Definitely incentivizing you to hold. And uh, if we all hold, we all win. This is RPU, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.